श्री स्वामी समर्थ अवधूत चिंतन श्री गुरुदेव दत्त सदगुरु श्री साईनाथाय नम वेलकम व्यूअर्स टू सोल स्पिरिच्युअलिटी होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड श्री साई सच्चरित्र चैप्टर ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टोरीज ऑफ फर्स्ट भक्तपंत सेकेंड हरिश्चंद्र पित्रे एंड थर्ड गोपाल आंबडेकर प्रिलिमिनरी ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी सी इन दिस यूनिवर्स आर नथिंग बट अ प्ले ऑफ माया द क्रिएटिव पावर ऑफ द लॉर्ड दीज थिंग्स डो नॉट रियली एग्जिस्ट वॉट रियली एग्जिस्ट इज द रियल एप्सोल्यूट जस्ट एज वी मिस्टेक अ रोप ऑफ अ गार्लैंड और अ स्टिक फॉर अ सर्पंट ऑन द काउंट ऑफ डार्कनेस वी ऑलवेज सी द फिनोमिन दैट इज थिंग्स एज दे आउटवर्डली अपियर एंड नॉट दैट विच अंडरलाइज ऑल द विजिबल थिंग्स इट इज ओनली द सदगुरु दैट ओपन्स द आईज ऑफ आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड इनेबल्स अस टू सी थिंग्स इन द ट्रू लाइट एंड नॉट एज दे अपियर let us therefore worship the sadguru and pray to him to give us the true vision which is nothing but god vision inner worship hemarpanta has given us a novel form of worship let us he says use hot water in the form of tears of joy to wash the sadguru's feet let us be smear his body with sandal paste of pure love let us cover his body with the cloth of true faith let us offer eight lotuses in the form of our eight gatvik emotions and fruit in the form of our concentrated mind let us apply to his head bukka that is black powder in the form of devotion and tie the waist band of bhakti and place our head on his toes After decorating the Sadguru with all jewelry in this way let us offer our all to him and wave chamar that is a handmade fan of devotion to ward off heat After such blissful worship let us pray thus Introvert our mind turn it inward give us discrimination between the unreal and the real and non attachment for all worldly things and thus enable us to get self realization we surrender ourselves body and soul make our eyes yours so that we should never feel pleasure and pain control our body and mind as you will and wish let our mind get rest in your feet now let us turn to the stories of this chapter but in case you are new to our channel then please consider subscribing and also click on the bell icon so that you will get notified of all our updates also like and share this video with your friends and also do leave your comments we wait for your feedback very eagerly thank you bhaktapant once it so happened that a devotee by name pant a disciple of another sadguru had the good fortune of visiting shirdi he had no mind to go to shirdi but man proposes one way and god disposes the other he was traveling in a railway train where he met many friends and relations bound for shirdi they all asked him to accompany them and he could not say no they alighted at bombay while pant got down at virar there he took permission of his sadguru for the shirdi trip and after arranging for all the expenses left with the party for shirdi they all reached the place in the morning and went to the masjid at about 11 am seeing the concourse of the devotees assembled for baba's worship they were all pleased but pant suddenly got a fit and fell senseless they were all frightened still they tried their best to bring him to his senses 
with baba's grace and with pitchers of water which they poured over his head he regained his consciousness and sat upright as if he was just awakened from sleep the omniscient baba knowing that he was a disciple of another guru assured him fearlessness and confirmed his faith in his own guru by addressing him as follows come what may leave not but stick to your bolster that is support that is his guru and ever remain steady always at one that is in union with him pant at once knew the significance of this remark and thus he was reminded of his sadguru this kindness of baba he never forgot in his life harishchandra pitre there was a gentleman by name harishchandra pitre in bombay he had a son who suffered from epilepsy he tried many allopathic and ayurvedic doctors but there was no cure there remained only one way of remedy namely resorting to the saints it has been stated in chapter 15 that dasvanu by his inimitable and splendid kirtans spread the fame of sai baba in the bombay presidency mr pitre heard from this kirtans in 1910 and learned from there and from others that baba by his touch and mere glance cured many incurable diseases then a desire arose in his mind to see sai baba making all preparations and taking presents and fruit baskets mr pitre came to shirdi with his family wife and children he then went to the masjid with them prostrated before baba and placed his sikh son on baba's feet no sooner baba saw the child than an untoward thing happened the son immediately revolved his eyes and fell down senseless his mouth began to foam and his whole body began to perspire profusely and it seemed as if he had breathed himself out seeing this the parents became very nervous and excited the boy used to get such fits very often but this fit seemed to persist long tears began to flow ceaselessly from the mother's eyes and she began to wail crying that her condition was like that of a person who being afraid of the robbers ran into a house which collapsed on him or like a cow fearing a tiger ran into the hands of a butcher or like a traveler who being tormented by the heat of the sun went to take refuge under a tree which fell upon him or like a devout person going for worship into a temple which collapsed upon him then baba comforted her saying do not wail like this wait a bit have patience take the boy to your lodging he will come to his senses within half an hour they did as directed by baba and found out that his words came true as soon as he was taken into the wada the boy recovered and the pitre family that is husband wife and others were very delighted and all their doubts disappeared then mr pitre came with his wife to see baba and prostrated himself before him very humbly and respectfully and sat shampooing his legs and mentally thanking baba for his help baba then smilingly said are not all your thoughts doubts and apprehensions calm down now hari will protect him who has got faith and patience mr pitre was a rich and well to do gentleman he distributed sweets on a large scale and gave baba excellent fruits and pan mrs pitre was a very satvik lady simple loving and faithful she used to sit near the post staring at baba with tears of joy flowing down from her eyes seeing her of an amicable and loving nature baba was much pleased with her like god saints are always dependent on their devotees who surrender and worship them with their heart and soul after passing some happy days in baba's company 
the pitre family came to the masjid to take baba's leave to depart baba gave them udi and blessings and called mr pitre close by and said to him bapu i had given you before rupees 2 now i give you rupees 3 keep this in your shrine for worship and you will be benefited Mr Pitre accepted this as prasad prostrated himself again before baba and prayed for his blessings a thought arose in his mind that as that was his first trip to shirdi he could not understand what baba meant when he had said that he had given rupees to previously he was curious to have this mystery solved but baba kept silent When Mr Pitre returned to Bombay he narrated to his old mother all that has happened at Shirdi and the mystery about baba giving him rupees 2 formally The mother also did not understand the mystery but thinking seriously about that she was reminded of an old incident which solved the mystery She said to her son As you now went to Sai Baba with your son so had your father done when he took you to akkalkot for the darshan of maharaj there many years ago that maharaj was also a siddha perfect yogi omniscient and liberal your father was a pure devout and his worship was accepted he then gave your father 2 rupees for him to keep in the shrine and worship Your father worshipped them accordingly till his death. But thereafter the worship was neglected and the rupees were lost. After some years the memory of these two rupees also disappeared and now as you are very fortunate the Akkal Kotkar Maharaj has appeared to you in the form of Sai Baba just to remind you to your duties and worship and to ward off all dangers. Now beware henceforth leave off all doubts and bad thoughts follow your ancestors and behave well go on worshiping the family gods and the rupees appraise properly and take pride in the blessings of the saints Sai Samartha has kindly revived the spirit of bhakti in you cultivate it for your benefit Hearing the remarks of the mother Mr Pitre was very much delighted He came to know and was convinced about the all pervasiveness of Baba and the significance of his darshan From that time he became very careful about his behavior Mr Ambedkar Mr Gopal Narayan Ambedkar of Pune was a devotee of Baba He served for 10 years in the Apkari department in the Thana district and in Jawhar state from where he had to retire. He tried to get some other job but he did not succeed. He was overtaken by other calamities and his condition grew from bad to worse. He passed 7 years in this condition visiting Shirdi every year and placing his grievance before Baba. In 1916 his plight became worse and he decided to commit suicide in Shirdi. So he came there with his wife and stayed there for 2 months. One night while sitting in the bullock cart in front of Dikshitwada he resolved to end his life by throwing himself into a well close by. He proposed to do one way but Baba wished to do something else. A few places from this place There was a hotel and its proprietor Mr Sagun a devotee of Baba came out and accosted him thus Did you ever read the Akkal Kotkar Maharaja's life Ambedkar took that book from Sagun and began to read it Casually or we may say providentially he came across a story which was to this effect During the lifetime of Akkal Kotkar Maharaj A certain devotee suffered very much from an incurable disease and when he could endure the agony and pain no longer he became so desperate and to his end his miseries 
he threw himself one night into a well immediately the maharaj came there and took him out with his own hands and advised him thus you must enjoy the fruit good or bad of your past actions if the enjoyment be incomplete suicide won't help you you have to take another birth and suffer again so instead of killing yourself why not suffer for some time and finish up your tour of the fruit of your past deeds and be done with it once and for all reading this appropriate and timely story ambedkar was very much surprised and moved had he not got baba's hint through the story he would have been no more on seeing baba's all pervasiveness and benevolence his faith in him was confirmed and he became a staunch devotee his father was a devotee of akkal kotkar maharaj and sai baba wanted him to walk into his father's footsteps and continue his devotion to him he then got sai baba's blessings and his prospects began to improve he studied astrology and gained proficiency in it and thereby improved his lot he was able to earn sufficient money and pass the remainder of his life in ease and comfort bo to shri sai peace be to all dear friends and viewers if you like this video please shower us some of your love by liking this video and by subscribing to our channel also share this video with your friends and do leave your comments or feedback in the comment section thank you shri swami samarth avdhut chintana shri gurudev dat sadguru shri sai nathaya namaha